Heidi, and welcome to our first video for our new YouTube channel called. <laughs> And welcome to our first video for our new YouTube channel called Can Cow With Us, where we teach you how to cook authentic last food here in Canada. I'm Brittany. I'm Sabrina. And I'm Katie. Let's, Let's get started. started! Today we're going to be showing you how to make a biak. This is a big favorite in our household. Um, I was recently in Laos this past fall. This is something my son wanted to eat every single day. Uh, so if you are Laos, you have Laos friends, you know what I'm talking about you want to know how to make this soup. It's an Asian chicken noodle soup. Okay, so we've already prepped everything and washed uh, what we need to go into the stock. We have celery, ginger, and onions. Um, we do just want to slice some of the skin off of the ginger so that you can get all the flavor into the broth. And then you're ready to put it into your water. All right, so I just brought all of my uh, ingredients over here and I'm ready to put them into the pot. Uh, so we're gonna add a quarter um, cup, which is 59 milliliters of salt into the water mixture. So uh, after the salt is put into the broth mixture, then uh, we don't like to use MSG, so we use chicken broth mix. Um, you can get any brand that you like from any local grocery store. Uh, we also just put one quarter cup into this mixture. The last thing that you need to do for your broth is add the chicken. You can use any chicken that you have on hand at home, whether it's chicken breast, whole chicken, chicken thighs, dark or white meat, whatever your preference is, it can go into the soup base. We got our chicken specifically from our local Kitchener's Farmer's Market from a butcher called Unipole. We like to get our meat from there because they raise all of their meat um, without steroids or antibiotics. And so now we're just going to add it into the broth. So it's been about over an hour now and our pot is nice and boiled. The chicken looks like it's ready to come out. We're just going to skim off uh, the top of all of the oil that's on top of the broth. So now we're ready to take the chicken out so that it can be set aside to be cooled and then shredded. And now we can turn the pot down to simmer while we wait for the chicken to cool. and you want to shred it so we can add it back to our soup. So you can literally just take a fork and shred your chicken. Some people um, will take it out and chop it up. You can also, uh, if you don't like much fat, you can take off the skin. Uh, we personally like the skin, it adds more flavor. Um, and you can also uh, leave some of the meat onto the bones put it back in and some people like to have kind of chicken on the bones in their bowl. All right, all of our chicken's in there. It looks delicious. And now we're going to show you how to cook your noodles. All you need to make for St. Kaviat is a bag of rice flour, tapioca starch, and glutinous rice flour. You can get these ingredients at your real Canadian grocery store or any Asian grocery store. Okay, so we're going to take the rice flour from the soup pan. I'm going to pour it into the bowl here. You want to use the entire bag. Okay, now we're going to move on to the tapioca starch. We also want to use the entire bag for this. This is optional. So, with the glutinous rice flour, we're going to add two tablespoons of this to make it more starchy and last longer. You can actually keep this in your fridge for at least a week. Stir and mix the ingredients together. 
together. So once this is cooled down, you want to knead with your hands, but be very careful because it can be still hot. Okay, so this is about the perfect thickness that I like my noodles, um, but it's all based on preference. So if you want thick noodles, um, you don't have to roll it out as much, but, or if you want really thin noodles like they eat in Laos, um, you can roll it out some more. pot of water here. Some people like to boil their noodles directly into the big pot of broth, but we prefer not to do that as it makes the broth more thicker in consistency and just not as clean looking. So the water has boiled and we'll just add whatever amount of noodles that you plan to eat in your separate bowl. few minutes you'll know when they're done when they're transparent and they float to the top all right so our noodles are done for our first bowl you're just gonna want to add your broth you can flavor your bowl to however you prefer to eat your soup. Um, I kind of like mine really spicy and a little sour, so um, yeah, I'm gonna add a ton of pepper and lime. Um, we also like to add green onions, cilantro, bean sprouts. Um, Katie likes celery, that's not normal. Um, and fried chopped garlic, some people like soy sauce. Uh, if you're Laos, you know Laos people like putting sugar in their soup. Uh, sriracha, ground black pepper, and then uh, we'll have to show you how to make this, but it's a homemade chili oil. So, yeah. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, if you guys want to see us make anything specific, please comment below, let us know. Enjoy! <laughs> okay.